In our first example, we want to find the six values of the trigonometric functions if we have an angle theta in standard position where the terminal side of that angle passes through the point negative 12 comma 5. So we'll say that this would be our x value of negative 12 and this will be our y value of 5. If we have an angle in standard position that means that we have our vertex at the origin and our initial side would lay on the positive x-axis and we want our terminal side to pass through the point negative 12 comma 5. So there's our angle in standard position. This would be our angle theta. Now in order to in order to find our six trig functions we need to know what x is. We need, we need to know what y is and we need to know what r is. We already know that x is negative 12 and y is 5. Now we need to find r. Remember that r is the distance from the origin, that vertex, to the point that we picked that lays on the line, that lays on that terminal side. So r, we said, was equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So we need to simplify that. In order to do that, we need to figure out what is negative 12 squared. That would be 144. 20, uh, 5 squared would be 25. R would be equal to the square root of 169 and the square root of 169 would be 13. So we know that R is 13. So let's go over here and form the six trig function values. Sine of an angle theta, we see above here that sine is Y divided by R and our Y value is 5. So that would be 5, that's my Y, divided by R which is 13. So sine of theta is 5 divided by 13. Now cosecant is the reciprocal of that. Cosecant is r divided by y. So we just flip that fraction. We get 13 divided by 5. That's our r over y. Tangent of theta is described as y over x. So we're going to form that fraction, y is 5, and we want x, x is negative uh, 12, so tangent of theta for this angle would be a value of 5 divided by negative 12. Cosine of theta is x divided by r, our x value is negative 12, our r is 13, Secant of theta, secant is the reciprocal for cosine, so our reciprocal would be 13 divided by negative 12. So it's the reciprocal. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, is defined as x divided by y. Our x value is negative 12, and our y value is 5. In example two, we are, we are told that the terminal side of an angle theta in standard position passes through the point negative two times the square root of three. That would be our x value here, comma, negative two, and negative two would represent our y value. Find the values of the six trigonometric functions. Now that x value, if we put that into our calculators, we put it in uh, 2 times the square root of 3, we will find that that is approximately negative 3.5. So if I'm trying to figure out where to plot that, 
um, you would go about one, two, three, four. So I go about right here. That would be my negative two square root of three approximately. And we have a y value of negative two. And just get an approximate idea here. And so that point would be right about there. So we have our angle in standard position. So I'm going to put my vertex at the origin and my initial side here on the positive x-axis. And then my terminal side will go through that given point. And here is our angle theta. Now, in order to find our six trig functions, we need to know what x is, and we know that x is negative 2 square root of 3. Our y value is negative 2. And r, remember that r is found by using the formula square root of x squared plus y squared. So r is equal to the square root of x squared, so that's negative 2 square root of 3 all of that squared plus y squared and now we need to simplify underneath so r is equal to now when I square let's come over here when I square negative 2 square root of 3 remember that's just multiplying that times itself and you multiply outside number times outside number so they give me a positive 4 square root of 3 times the square root of 3 square root of 9, and we know that the square root of 9 is itself 3. So we get 12. So come over here and put in place of negative 2 square root of 3 squared, we'll put 12. And then we know that that would be 4. 12 plus 4 is 16. And so r would be equal to 4. So the first step is finding out what is your x, and what is your y, and what is your r. Now that we know the values of x, y, and r, let's form the values of our six trig functions. Starting with sine, sine of theta is equal to y divided by r. So the value of that would be negative 2 divided by positive 4, and we always want to reduce our fractions, so the sine value there would be a negative 1 half. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, that would be r divided by y, so we end up with 4 divided by negative 2, which gives me a negative 2 when I reduce. Cosine is x divided by r, so that would be negative 2 square root of 3 divided by r, which is 4. And the outside values here have a 2 in common, so we can reduce that to give us negative square root of 3 divided by 2 as our cosine value. Secant is the reciprocal, so that would be r divided by x. r is 4, x is negative 2 square root of 3. And once again, we can reduce this. 4 and 2 have something in common. They're both outside of the radical. So we have 2 divided by negative square root of 3. We can think about that negative as really being out front. Let's just go ahead and push that out front of our fraction. And we need to rationalize. If you remember back from college algebra and from previous days, we, wanted, we didn't want to have a radical left in our denominator. So to get rid of it, we're going to multiply top and the bottom by exactly the square root that's in the bottom. That gives me 2 square root of 3 over square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9. Don't want to forget that negative that's out front. So we end up with negative 2 square root of 3 
all over square root of 9 is 3. So we want to simplify and rationalize all of our fractions before we decide that that would be our final answer. Tangent is y divided by x. Our y value is negative 2. Our x is negative 2 square root of 3. Once again, our outside values have something in common. That really gives me a positive 1. My negatives also cancel. So we end up with 1 divided by the square root of 3. And once again, I want to rationalize my answer. So multiply top and the bottom by the square root of 3. And our final answer here would be square root of 3 divided by, we see that the square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9 from before, which ultimately gives us a denominator of 3. And lastly, we have cotangent. Cotangent is a reciprocal of tangent. Cotangent is x divided by y. And our x value was negative 2 square root of 3. Our y value is negative 2. It's just the flip of what we started out with tan for tangent. We want to reduce. The negative 2's cancel. It leaves us with square root of 3 divided by 1, which simplifies just to be positive square root of 3.